Welcome back everyone to some more F1 manager. This is the Williams save, of course. Now we're gonna try and get Williams up to the championship, top step of the championship. Let's see how long it takes. Well, Albon has an upgrade. Let me see. Um, I'd say reactions seems like a good one to have. What about anyone else? I don't think so. Latifi, no, Aiken, no. So that's all. But yeah, we're heading to Emilia Romagna, uh, the Emola circuit. So let's see how we do here. I believe we have some regulation votes coming in. So let's take a quick look at that. Minor technical regulation for the next season. We want something that hits a massive amount. So I'm going to go for a moderate regulation change so that other teams can get hit hit hard and then I can try and invest heavily in next year's car and try to bridge the gap that we're currently experiencing. Yes, here we go. A new front wing has arrived, meaning that we need to invest a little money and try to manufacture this. So let's go for a emergency approach for three of them. So 1.5 mil, we have the cash for it. Let's go. Three emergency front wings, which means that, oh, don't design. Let me just change and then put two of them on. So we got extra pieces. Uh, I want some more. I want a normal approach for two of them. Just have some extra available to us. We have one extra just in case the car crashes. But let's take a look at the car analysis. Grid average is uh, what we want to achieve right now. We're still far from it. Um, Top speed is 0.7-ish kilometers per hour slower still. Acceleration is still uh, 0 0.008, 8 thousandths behind. And then cornering, oh, we are struggling a lot. So we need that chassis upgrade to come through, I think. That's the other one I have going, right? No, actually the underfloor, that'll come in 11 days. Hopefully that'll come before the Grand Prix. Let's take a look, quite possibly. Um, it's 11 days actually, so it's gonna come here actually so we're gonna bring in the front wing upgrade for this one uh let me just quickly see if there is new time allotted to us uh let's get a new chassis going not yet i think yep we gotta wait 17 days no problem all right so we have a total of five in the factory now in the warehouse regarding front wing we got race preview and the following has been voted for we voted against this one but it seems like a minor regulation change is going to come through uh no tiebreaker this time it's two four six so six teams have voted for the minus five percent minimal regulation change all right without further ado let's jump into it then i think a qualifying position of e15 ah we're not gonna get that i think at this current stage fastest lap nah not gonna happen either finishing position p15 not quite sure we got to test our new component and see where our car sits so let's head on in and test the front wing hope you guys are enjoying the video if you are there are a couple things you can do to support the channel first off press that like button and subscribe make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next thank you guys so much for your support hope you enjoyed the rest of the video all right fairly quiet fp1 back of the grid of course on the hard tires for the two williams car but yeah we gotta keep working on these setups man gotta keep working on them hey big news we got an optimal setup for Albon this is good news uh, let me see if Latifi has an optimal setup as well Latifi also 100% we got it thank you very much this is brilliant good to see well wow, that was quick FP2 and we've got the optimal setup oh Albon on 97. We need to make a slight adjustment on the oversteer and then we should be good. And just like that, FP2 is over and we've had a good setup for Latifi. Albon still in the works. Let me see. He's down to 95 by the end of it. So unlucky. We'll have to continue to mess around with it. Oh, there's been a crash. There's been a crash. There's been a crash. Albon, how are you doing? Oh, he needs to come in soon. Let me just conserve a bit. Magnuson crashed into turn 7. Oh, he locked up. Yep, just like the Alpine save. Always here. Always that corner. Yeah, whatever I do, we're reverting back to 95. So I think I have to keep it at 97. That's the best I can get for Albon. No matter how many times I try to switch things around and, you know, edit it. It just doesn't work. It really doesn't work. So that's it. 
We're gonna go with 97. Uh, I'm told there's a multiple cars crashed. No corners of mine are out there right now. I'm just keeping them in because I think I got the best setup we can. Alcon's out. Ooh, Alcon crash. Seems like a Ferrari caused a collision. Okay. Not quite sure what's going on here. Oh, rear ended. Hey. Oh, Sunoda crashed. Hold on. Let's see. What happened? Ah, oh, it's the exact same like turn here. Same turn, same lockup, same crash. Solid work, guys. Signs with the penalty for causing the crash with Alcon, Albon, and Latifi safely in the pits, but back of the grid in the timing. So, yeah, we're still struggling quite a bit, but we do have some pretty good confidences. I switched it over to 97%, I believe, so we shouldn't be in 95. Out early, and we got a clean lap in. I think, okay, I thought there might be rain this session, but no, it's going to be dry straight throughout. So, let's see what our first lap says. 118-1 for Latifi. Albon making his way to the start-finish line. 179 by the looks of it. 17, yeah. High 117s. One second, or a couple tenths faster than Latifi. But Ricardo's a full one second faster than Latifi almost. So, yeah, we are slow. Even with the new front wing on the car, it's a bit of a shame uh, that we are struggling still so hopefully we can see it out we'll see here we go then it is currently the final lap p18 for album right now but he is improving on his previous time he's in 117.7 goes only p17 unlucky i think latifi isn't going to be able to get anything better than his previous lap yep he got a tad bit faster 11 thousandths or so so he's back of the grid but shame it's a real shame but I am tempted. Let me see. Okay, we're both out. Um, but I'm thinking maybe we should give Latifi a penalty. Let's put a new engine in Latifi's car and let's see how he performs. But let's head into race day and see how this works out. Here we are, folks. We're back for another day of scintillating F1 action. It's race day. Williams had a good performance in qualifying. Now they'll be eager to demonstrate that they can have an even better race. This hasn't been McLaren's weekend so far, and they'll probably be disappointed with their grid positions. But after the lights go out, they'll have every opportunity to move up the field. And the sky is looking grey and cloudy today. An effective tyre strategy could prove very valuable as the race plays out. And seeing it all come together is sure to be a thrill. An exciting race ahead for us here at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Brilliant. Let's see how this strategy works out because there is a bit of rain expected in this race. All right, so this is going to be a tricky strategy to play with. So this is the weather condition right now. We got dries for the first five, six, seven laps or so, and then it's going to start raining, and then it's going to dry up a bit for about another uh, five laps or so and then it's gonna start raining again and then it's gonna dry up again I don't know it might be that the weather center isn't at optimal like max capacity so we may be getting some mixed messages here but I think we'll start on the softs and do a one stop uh, essentially during the wet stint so we're gonna do a one stop for inters and then another stop for another set of inters so it's a, a, in general a two stop strategy and uh, but if it does end up being too dry for a while we'll have to coordinate this immensely well try to get this strategy going where we pit for the softs again and then we go for another set of inters so it's going to be a very touch and go for both cars um, i also gave both cars brand new engines for this race i noticed that i was stuck in the f122 mindset but if we are within allocation there's no penalty for a new engine component so we've gone on to the second row of engine components so let's head on in see how this strategy plays out the drivers have now taken position on the grid and it's looking like a cloudy day here we have alexander albon with their starting position in the back 10 they'll have their work cut out for them Next up for the team, it's Latifi. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. And we're just moments away now. Sweet, let's go then. The crowd are let's on their see. Feet in 
Ooh, I am excited for this one. Emilia Romagna, Imola. Off we go. Lights out. And away we go. We're on the soft tires. We do have the advantage over other cars. I believe look at everyone driving on the hards or mediums. I think a lot of people in the back are on softs here. Yep. Joe, Magnussen, Schumacher, Stroll on the softs and then Vettel Norris on the mediums with Ricardo and Sonoda on the hards. Quite interesting why they would go for the hards if rain is imminent but I'm not sure if rain is imminent. I just realized that we may be getting false signals from a very poor weather center but I don't know. Uh, it seems like currently we're waiting on rain. Four minutes it's still gonna be uh, cloudy. Albon trying a move on Daniel Ricardo. Um, and I think he just got past him. Perfect. And we're off. Closer to Schumacher, please. Let's keep going. Latifi, try to push as much as you can as well. This is working. It's going to be a tight battle with Ricardo. Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, what's going to happen here? Inside line. Uh, staying toe to toe with him. Still no move done. What's Latifi doing? He's still stuck behind the Aston Martins right now. There's a bit of a talent gap here between Albon and Latifi, as you can tell. All right, we got to wait for the rain, so I'm going to... Uh, we got to be careful here. We got to be mindful of the weather. Gonna go neutral. We'll see if the rain comes soon. Okay, this is good. Wet weather predicted. Wet weather predicted. Okay, so this is good. We got wet weather predicted. 75% of rain in four minutes. So we got to keep an eye on the weather. Um, three minutes now. Okay, this is good. Pit window is active, so we're going to try and push. Still no rain on circuit yet. So let's keep going. Please tell me there's some rain coming soon. Rain started. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we got to go in for the inters now. Thank you very much. Let's pit this lap, please. And we're going to double stack over at Williams because it always works. Double stacking is always a good option. Okay, it is. Oh, hold on. Do you think it's going to go to wet? Ooh, is that wet conditions or is that just going to be inters? Um, we're gonna risk it on the inters. We're gonna put both cars on the inters. Here we go. In we go. Double stacking for inters. What are other cars doing? He's on inters. W Hamilton on the inters. Signs on wets. Okay, so it's a mixed bag here. Inters and wets going on some of the cars. Okay, got wets and inters going on. A mixture. Albon releases pretty well. And Latifi releases pretty well, so this is good. I think Latifi got held up less than Albon. Albon gained a position. 37.7 total. Let's see what happens. 38, so he did get held up a bit. Track conditions are wet. Okay, so this is interesting. Is it going to stay wet for long? Or is it just going to stay into conditions? Perhaps I should have risked it on the wets. I don't know. Alright, we are going to risk Latifi considering he is pretty slow. So I'm going to risk Latifi right now. Send him into the pits right now. Box, box. Okay, so this is an interesting box, box. thing we got to do here. Because it looks like it's going to stay wet for a while. I wonder if Albon can survive. Hmm. I really do wonder if it's going to start dropping soon. Good stop from the boys. 2.6. Not bad at all. Onto the wets. Alright, we we got to stop burning through these tires here. Okay, we've got to pit all Bono. The rain is getting pretty bad out here. Yep. So it was a risk. I knew the risks. So we're going to bring them in for the wets. It's a mess. This weather prediction is an absolute mess here. Not sure how we're going to proceed for the rest of the race. There may be a stint where inters are going to be required. Maybe we've got to switch over to dries at some point, but it's all up for grabs still. 
That's all I can say. It's still all up for grabs. We're still ahead of Sonoda. Who's braving it out on the Inters. A lot of cars trying to brave it out on the Inters. Signs who was on the wet. Moved to the song. Uh, moved to the Inters. Why? Why does Signs do this? He was on the wets, moved to the Inters. Huh. Strange. Ferrari doing a very head scratching tactical call there. Okay, I'm pitting Latifi this lap because we're down to 3.57. Now this is an opposite strat. What I'm going to do is let Albon see this out until this wet stint comes. I'm going to try to keep Latifi on the simple like enters and wets kind of stuff. So we will see. We're adapting to the conditions out here. It's insanely crazy how the wet weather is just bouncing back and forth from wet to enter, wet to enter. Um, so we'll see. Perhaps enters is the more versatile tire. That we should have relied on. Maybe I should have left Albon out for the whole thing. Ugh, I don't know. I really don't. But we got a decent stuff of 2.8. Not really decent. It's just very slow. But it'll do. It will do. Oh. Multiple cars crashed. Multiple Hold on. We just got a front wing damage. Now we see the Williams here. What happened? Oh, contact between the Alpha Terry and the Williams. Ouch. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, crash involving multiple cars. What's with the Mercedes now? This is a different incident completely. Oh, this is huge as well. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Huge crash between the Mercedes and Alpha Terry. Is that a safety car? VSC deployed. Okay, VSC deployed. Let's conserve, let's conserve, let's harvest. We're gonna pit um, Albon for the new front wing and also intermediate tires. Um, you can conserve and harvest if you'd like. Yeah, I'm already pitting this guy. So let's bring him in. I mean, obviously DRS is disabled. We're we're in wet conditions here. Okay, here we go. In we go. It's a very wild race. I don't know how to get the strategy right for this one. I'm really scratching my head here. Okay, front wing is changed. Bang on. Perfect. All right, Albon is pretty much last. Gasly and Sonoda both on penalties here for causing collisions, I guess. So yeah, the Alpha Tauris have totally destroyed their prospects of a good race here today. Ah, Latifi. Latifi locked up. Oh, this is bad. Sonoda's right on our tail now. I believe, yep. Ah, Latifi, what are you doing? Now let's look. Man, You're this guy just went off. straight on there. Shame. Oh, there's been a crash. Oh. Schumacher off. Schumacher yeah. off. I think he crashed right here. Yes, he did. Exact same spot. Hmm. Oh, that's a Schumacher crashed. Is that a safety right, car, this? though? There's I've seen safety cars given for this one. Locks up. Yeah. Smashes his nose that's into it. Expected. Okay. Now is that a safety car? No, it's not. It's just yellow flags and we proceed. We've gone through this heavy rain bit here, but there's a little heavy rain expected in the near future as well. So I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, there's been another crash. Another crash. Goat Tifi himself doing a P13 right now in the Williams. Oh God, Schumacher crashed yet again in the exact same spot. Is that a DNF though? Ah, the idiot smashed his car into the barriers there. Sector 1. No, it's we're good. We're still going. I'm telling Albon to push a little here. Try and close the gap to Perez. It's 16 seconds right now, but I also want to extend the gap on Russell. A lot of cars went like back and forth between the wets and the inters right now. Perez on the wets, which is a very bad tire to be on right now, let's be honest. Sunoda on worn inters. Interesting. Latifi doing well, chasing Verstappen on the wets. Okay, so Red Bull have opted to stay on the wets, mainly because they're expecting some heavy rain here. 
I don't know. But we'll keep this going. Let's bring him down to neutral again. He's used up much of his battery. Let's see. Okay, definitely hit the wet part of the Grand Prix. I think we should be fine. We'll keep these guys out on the Inters. Seems like they're doing alright. We'll, we'll brave it out. Officially back into damp conditions. Russell overtakes Albon. What tires are these guys on? Wets. Wets for Perez. Hamilton and Verstappen are in. Guess they are swapping tires to Inters. Okay. So the wet stint is officially over. Hamilton on the Inters right now. Gasly on the Inters. Everyone moving on to the Inters. So Inters are the tire to be on now. So Latifi try to stay alive up here, man. Albon try to push up. Oh, there's been a crash. Sector 1 yellow flag. Sector 1 yellow flag. Oh, Verstappen. Is that run wide or is that the crash? Oh, he just ran wide. Okay. But is that the collision? No, it's not the collision. I do apologize. I pressed the wrong one there. There's been a crash. Been a crash. Norris has crashed. Oh, he crashed right after Verstappen went wide there. Oh. That's a rear wing damage there for sure. No safety car though. By the way, I just noticed, I think we can see out this race. The trajectory of this tire degradation seems like we might be hitting around 30% by the end of it. So we're on target for both cars to finish off this Grand Prix. As they are. So I think we're going to leave these guys out. Let them battle it out. And hope for the best. I'm going to tell all the TV to push a little. Albon as well. Try to get a gap to Vettel here. And then Albon, I want him to try and close down Perez. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Oh, there's been another crash. Ricardo crashed. Turn 7. It's absolute mayhem. Okay, so turn 7 seems to... Yeah, this turn here. Again, identical with Norris. The the McLaren is struggling around there. Oh, finally. Last lap already. My gosh. Alright, we'll go full attack mode then. Let's just push this car. Let's push both cars to try and get the best we can. The GOAT himself doing absolutely brilliantly to keep it in P14 right now. Still ahead of Russell and Vettel. So, wow. My gosh. He is absolute goaded. Um, come on, GOAT TV. Give us, give us P14, man. See this out. See this out. Oh. Come on, stay ahead of Russell, man. GOAT TV. I have faith in you, buddy. These tires are holding up pretty well so far. Okay, Leclerc just finished. Come on, buddy. Stay ahead, stay ahead. Come on. I don't care. Come on, Latifi. Stay ahead of him. Stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead. Okay, once he makes that bend, this uphill turn... And then into the final sector here. I'm going to tell him to really push. Not yet, not yet, not yet. His ERS. Oh, Russell is low on fuel or something because he slowed down massively. Okay, deploy, deploy, deploy. Unless he's getting lapped. Unless Russell was getting lapped. I don't know. But Latifi has just secured P14 ahead of George Russell. George Russell's washed. George Russell washed. Nice. Albon getting P17 after a very difficult race with I don't know how many pit stops we've made here but wow Latifi the GOAT has secured P14 I should have given the guarantee but yes this is brilliant Amazing performance from Nicholas Latifi this weekend Williams have got to be happy with their results here. This was good work. Absolutely. I imagine it'll be pats on the back all round, and deservedly so. Now that all the points have been tallied, the team is in 10th place in the constructor standings. Coming up next, the teams will be taking a trip to the Sunshine State. The Hard Rock Stadium is laying down the track for a captivating race at the Miami Grand Prix. Well, 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 what do you know? What a stellar race. We got P14 here. 
Uh, Leclerc, Sainz, and Alonso on the podium. Bottas, Hamilton, Magnus, and Joe Verstappen, Ricardo, and Ocon in the points. Norris, Perez, Stroll, Latifi, Russell, Vettel, Albon, Sonoda, Gazi, and Schumacher round out the finishers. So, seems like we lost out to Aston Martin, meaning that we will drop to the bottom of the grid, which we just heard. We are now 10th in the constructors, um, but we lit uh, Latifi up to P17 ahead of Schumacher and Vettel. Albon down to P19, losing out to his teammate Latifi. But yeah, I got to be happy with the result today. P14 is quite a result considering the uh, how slow we were. McLaren just scoring two points today. The first points on their tally apparently. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're still back of the grid. We're still struggling. The front wing wasn't enough. Let's see if the underfloor upgrade that will come next episode is sufficient to get us a little bit of a boost. Latifi, of course, getting a development point today. 3.8 mil made. I should have put a guarantee on for P15 up. But who knew that the weather was going to be this chaotic? Not me. 